Hello YouTube and welcome to the Chroma Air Airbrush Studio. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a metal effect using a minigun, an airbrush, and some water-based paints. First things first, you have to mask off all the areas that you're not going to want to spray or get any paint on. Any old layers of paint are going to have to be sanded down using P600 sand or grit paper before applying a fresh coat. We use the Createx sealer here to build texture on the surface with a spray gun, running on low air pressure. So a similar technique can be achieved with an airbrush and a splatter cap as well, but given the size of the guitar we're using, that would take a really long time. So we went on to apply an aluminum base coat over it using the GSI Creos PS290 airbrush and you want to try to make this layer thick to make sure you have enough left after you're done scratching and erasing. Cut out any designs you'd like to apply and having a graphic plotter helps a lot at this stage but it can be done by hand as well. color you'd like to have fill all the gaps in the guitar. In our case, we're going to be using candy black because we wanted a black silver type effect. After it dries, use a sanding pad or block to remove the top layer of paint. Be gentle and take your time. Clean all the dust away and enjoy the finished result. This time, the masking that covers your designs should be removed and you're going to have to add additional masking material um, to cover the outside areas that you don't want to be affected by overspray. Spray the shadows along the stencil design outline and use a blade to highlight the borders so that the design stands out. on to the next side and repeat all the same steps.
After all the parts have been completed, the artwork is ready for the clear coat. It does already look cool as is, but we decided to go a step further and apply a candy color over it. So this is going to mean masking it and sanding it again. We applied the Candy 2.0 by Createx in multiple light layers to build up a deep color effect. And what we did was we used the red candy in the front and the green candy in the back of the guitar. We think the finished product came out awesome, it looks great, and what's even cooler is it leaves you with two different colorways using the same design. We hope you enjoyed this and subscribe for new videos, let us know what you're interested in seeing, and thanks for watching.